do is that all of us have some burdens that we carry around with us, some beliefs that were instilled in us at an early age about what we can and what we can't do. So I'm going to pick a few out fairly randomly. I've picked them out already. I'm going to sort of chat to you about them. And uh, let's see if you identify with any of them in particular, or if you know somebody who suffers from these diseases that I'm going to talk about right now. Uh, how many perfectionists do we have here? Can I just have a picture of hands? Okay, so you need to get your... Is that Rocco? Sorry, where's, where's Rocco? Okay, Rocco's over here. All right, you're not a perfectionist, because I... Somebody said something about... No, I'm just kidding you. Okay, don't. So you're... You're a perfectionist. Okay. Um, do you think it's a cool thing to be a perfectionist? Not always. Okay, so when is it a cool... When is it good, when is it good to be a perfectionist? Life. To get stuff right. Yeah. So the zero defect stuff. Yeah. But there's certain other times. Okay. But would you agree with me that, yeah. that people that are perfectionists get quite tense? Yes. They get quite intense. Yeah. So what are they like for other people? Irritating. You said that very nice. They always said a pain in the ass. Really? I mean, imagine, imagine being married to a perfectionist. Imagine your poor wife. She's a perfectionist too. So. <laughs> Both of you. Yeah. Oh, well, at least she understands. <laughs> okay. Can you imagine the scenario? Harold, how many times have I told you to squeeze the toothpaste tube at the end, not in the middle? You know, that's the kind of thing you're constantly getting from a perfectionist. So, Don, if I could give you some advice, I'd get going with a psychologist pretty soon. <laughs> and, and I'd do it intensively, twice a week, three times a week, until... You know, no, I'm just kidding you. Look, the point is that a perfectionist is a great person from a point of view that they really care about things being right. What I'm worried about the burden of perfectionism is the effect that it has on the people around you and their productivity. Uh, one of the things that I teach on presentation skills is that if you release yourself from the burden of having to be perfect, your presentations will be more powerful. Think about that. I mean, if you're putting together a presentation, if today I expect it to be perfect, I would have driven myself completely crazy. But if the idea is just to get a message across, do it as best I possibly can, put a few interesting stories in, have a bit of interaction and have fun, it might be an enjoyable experience for, for the people. But being perfect, that's just too much pressure. So this may be one burden that you can get rid of. 